Hi everyone, Claire Horner here for the Ice Resin Creative Team and I'm just here with a new video project for you today so I hope you enjoy. Bye! I love moss agate but sometimes it's hard to find a really nice one so I decided to try and make one myself. What you will need is a stone that you like the facets on and make a mould from it first of all. Then you're going to use a mixing cup and a stirrer, some ice resin and then you'll need some of this stuff which is called uh, lichen. Some people call it reindeer moss, some people call it lichen. Either are really. To begin, I'm picking out a few pieces of the lichen that I like. I'm trying not to get too many of the stems. I do want more of the straggly bits to get the striations. Taking a mixing cup and part A of the ice resin, I'm going to squeeze a small amount into the bottom of the mixing cup. You do have to squeeze quite hard with part A, it's very gloopy and very thick and it is supposed to be that way. And then I'm going to take part B and squeeze the exact same amount on top. I'm then mixing my resin together very carefully and I have sped this up on the video but I am doing it very slowly and I'm being careful to fold it together to mix it instead of whipping it because the last thing that you want is loads of air bubbles. The ice resin is created so air bubbles will naturally rise but if you can get less in them in the mixing process then it's a lot better. After mixing thoroughly and making sure that all of the resin has come away from the edge and on the stick, I'm going to set it aside and leave it for about five minutes. I mixed it for a total of about two to three minutes to make sure it was mixed properly. Leaving it for five minutes helps the bubbles rise and you won't be pouring them into your mould where they could get trapped. Next I'm going to pour some of the resin into the mould. The ice resin mixing cups are fantastic because you can actually squeeze them and use them for putting the resin in your mould. So, as you can see from the mixing process and leaving it for five minutes, most of the bubbles have gone and there isn't any left in the resin that I've just poured into that mould. Next I'm taking a bowl tool and I'm just going to push my lichen where I want it to be. You have to be careful with resin because some things will float and some things you need to do in layers but I found with the lichen it just sat quite nicely where I put it so I didn't need to worry about it floating. I did underfill my mould to begin with because I wasn't sure how much room the lichen would take up. So after lots of faffing and manoeuvring and making sure it was all where I wanted it to be, I'm just going to top it up, make it level and then set that aside for 6 to 12 hours so it will start setting. After 3 days it will be cured completely. After 6 to 12 hours, depending where you are and your humidity, it will be touchable. 
And here we are the next day and the demolding and you can see all of the detail and the finished piece. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Thanks a lot. Bye.